the Banff Mineral Springs Hospital on November 1st, 2012. Um, I'm there to get a uh, large full thickness tear repaired of my uh, supraspinatus tendon. Uh, my subscapularis uh, tendon is needed to repair. And my bicep tendinesis uh, repaired. They do this uh, arthroscopically. Uh, I did have the procedure done 20 years ago approximately on my left shoulder um, where they leave a, you know, about a six inch scar. Now you get four little inserts. There's my private nurse, uh, Lisa. She was very, very helpful. Just waiting for them to take me into surgery where they uh, apply a nerve block into your neck. Uh, so it basically freezes your arm and you stay awake for the whole procedure, which is uh, very beneficial as, as opposed to getting put right out. It helps with recovery. And the nerve block lasts about four hours after the operation, which is helpful as well. Basically what they do is they uh, shave off the chromium bone, which is just above where your clavicle is, get rid of scar tissue is what you can see right here. Um, and they also uh, shave off a good landing area on the top of your humerus bone to put in their anchors, which are basically four screws. They're Arthrex uh, push lock anchors, they're about five millimeters uh, long, so they're very small. Everything here is magnified, as you can see, that's basically the the drill, or the shaver they call it. There's the tendon, he's pulling that there. Those are the sutures. They're basically the thickness of a piece of thread. It's a very unique experience. Uh, you can smell and hear everything that's going on. Um, when they're drilling, when they're tapping in the screws, everything like that. There's four screws in total. They use what's called an express sew, double horizontal sutures that are crisscrossed, and then uh, the push lock anchors stripped into that. Double knot tractioned is one of the anchors going in. And as I said, you could hear this. The uh, anesthesiologist is sitting right, behind, right beside you the whole time. Uh, there's a screen where you can watch all this taking place. He's just making sure that you're okay while this is going on. And if you get uncomfortable, they put you out right away. But I was able to stay awake for the, it's about a, my procedure was about uh, just over an hour and a half, just under two hours. I did get a little bit sleepy in the middle of it, but it was just so interesting to watch. So you can see one of the sutures being pulled through there. There was an intern in the operating theater during my operation. Here's another anchor being placed. Dr. Buchko let him put a few sutures in. There's one of the anchors going in with the suture underneath. This is basically exactly what I saw. I mean, this is a video from YouTube, but it's exactly what I saw. One of the things people don't realize is your shoulder joint has the widest range of motion of any joint in your body. It's the largest joint above your hip. There's a good diagram of, of one of the sutures. There were two of those. Uh, here's uh, me about an hour post-op, all strapped up, uh, waiting for uh, once the nerve block uh, wears off, you get Percocets in your cold therapy unit, which is a electrified cooler that basically makes your shoulder frozen and my TV in the hospital there changing the dressing the 
put the sling back on and give you a couple Percocets and uh, left the hospital about 11.30 the next day after a, a night in the hospital. And that's me at home. <laughs>